My life the past few months has been pretty mediocre. From loosely doing chores to not prioritizing sleep and also having the urge to be creative but not taking those first steps to nurture that part of myself. So, in this vlog, I am attempting to rekindle that part of myself and set myself up for a creative and productive summer. every video like this if I have a coffee in my hand. Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. The goal of today is to get re-inspired. I've been so focused on the last video that I did that took me months to do. I didn't really post that much. I just posted a couple shorts and I was just getting really uninspired and I kind of just wanted to make a little vlog trying to get myself back up into doing things because it is the summertime and I do have a lot more time now now that the semester finished. Now it's time to get back into it. I kind of want to divide this video into three parts. So to help me rekindle that creative spark I'm going to establish some sort of creative routine so this means that I'm gonna make some sort of schedule every week where I give myself space to record and edit and also get inspiration when I didn't have my days planned out to edit it was really easy to just edit at the last minute I printed this little thing out on my wall so I can see it every day my content calendar or content schedule whatever you want to call it but I still want to post on Sundays however a lot of my audience is moving to watching a lot of videos on Saturday so I'm thinking of moving it to Saturday but for now this is my content calendar I'll have it on the screen right now so you guys can kind of see over here on Monday is basically the day to plan things out so I gotta get my coffee if I need to go buy something for the video and plan it out I'll do that I'm gonna do like some sort of advice video and I want to write things down in a notebook I'll do that on Monday Day. If I don't have anything to plan, then I will just take it as a rest day. But every day on Monday, no matter what, I'm going to sit down and respond to comments. I don't do that as much as I want to. I built that into my content calendar. On Tuesday, which is today, is the day that I film. So, hello, good morning. And then on Wednesday is the day that I do the rough cut. So, instead of focusing and cramming all of the editing on Saturday, rough cut, creative edit, graphics, music, everything, and then upload, which is like really stressful. By the time I wake up on Monday morning, I'm like rushing through my morning routine so I can sit down on my computer and post the video. And I don't want to do that for myself. I want to post it at a reasonable hour. I don't want to post my videos at like 8 o'clock at night. Having a specific day to just do the rough cut, having another specific day to just do the creative edit will give me a lot more space to breathe and like have a life on the weekends. Kind of creating this like creative environment for myself. I have very specific goals on what I'm gonna do is the first step. I literally sat down for like two hours one day and I just wrote it all out on Notability. That's what I did because I was tired of not feeling motivated to do content. I was like, oh, well, I haven't posted in a long time, so why would I even get up and do it? Like, it was just like a very toxic mindset that I was going through. I was seeing other people like do creative things in their videos and like post stuff on Instagram and I was like, but I want to do that. And it's like, well then just get up and do it, like hello. I was just so unmotivated and the impulse to create something is still there and will always be there. Just feeding that urge and keeping it alive is my responsibility as a person who's creative. So here we are, eating an egg bite, reading a content calendar. It's time to go out on a run. So this is something that has been keeping me sane. 
I guess, during this summer, I need to be able to move my body somehow. I can't just be stuck in my room all day editing, filming, and doing things without moving my body. When I had school, I had an excuse to move, but now I don't. Currently going out on a one mile run. I'm trying to do the mile under 15 minutes, which is actually a pretty big deal for me if I do do that because I would just like get really tired really easily. And I've been trying to maintain my cardio to like a decent pace. So I think trying to do a mile under 10 minutes is doable for other people. But for me, 15 minutes is ideal. And I think 15 minutes is like a perfect amount of time to like do a warm up and then I will go and do some yoga afterwards. So I have to keep my mind strong. I'm trying to work out three times a week. I did my 30 days of yoga to help me like get back into working out to kind of like force myself to do it every day so that that way it can be easier to like dial it back down and do three times a week and it very much has done that that's really the only real like productive thing that i've done this whole month so we're sticking to it I'm gonna come out here and do a run drink a good amount of water before I go because I don't want to carry this around and I'm not out there for a long time so okay I'm five minutes in there's a lot of wind but I feel okay average pace right now is 12 I'm trying to keep it under 14 average pace because now I'm gonna start walking I haven't stopped since I started I feel great I feel like I've advanced a lot I feel super present right now which is helping and uh we'll see how this goes Okay, I just started running again and I feel great. I am 10 minutes in and I have 0.3 mile, 0.3 mile, 0.3 mile left. So can I do 0.1 miles in a minute? I don't know. My average pace right now is probably like 10. I feel like I'm in a Cody Trains video right now. I will see you guys in like five minutes. Ah! I did it. Total time, 13 minutes, 10 seconds. Total distance, 1.02 miles. Average pace, 12 minutes, 55 seconds per mile. I mean, this is great. Last week, I only worked out two times, and I was supposed to do it a third time, but I never ended up working out the third time last week. And this week, we're getting back into it. Last week, I did a 13 minute mile as well. It's a good thing that I haven't gotten any worse, so I actually didn't die. So that's great. Camera is really tilted. I'm gonna do some yoga now. My body's all warmed up. It's just gonna feel better to stretch afterwards. Sometimes I really wanna work up a sweat. I'll do a full yoga afterwards, but today I'm just gonna stretch. Fifth fastest run. Yay! Okay, you know what time it is. literally so frizzy today it's being super annoying but it's still not greasy enough that i need to like put it up in a slick back ponytail so even if i do that now it'll just end up getting greasier faster and i don't want that so don't know what to do i think i'll just maybe i'll do like half up half down it's like if i put it up in a clip it'll still look really frizzy up here i need to like control this maybe i'll like twist my hair loosely so it doesn't get super frizzy. I don't know. It's still really frizzy. Okay, so I did a couple chores. I showered and now I'm here to eat lunch. In the air fryer right now, I have these cauliflower chicken nuggets things. I got them from Whole Foods. I've had them a long time ago and I forgot they existed. So I got them like last week. And I think I'm gonna heat up this chicken fried rice that I made yesterday. I bought this Olipop probiotic. It's a prebiotic, but this flavor, Tropical Punch, I haven't tried it before. I've only tried the grape flavor and then this ginger and lemon flavor. I really like the grape one, but I bought this one and then the ginger lemon one and I wasn't a big fan of the ginger lemon one so I'm gonna try this one in front of you guys and see what I think oh my gosh sprayed everywhere <gasps> you know what it tastes like it tastes like Capra Sun it tastes like eight-year-old me I think I like this better than the grape one I said it 
I'll set it. Whenever I eat food and I drink this with it, it just makes me digest my food better. I feel like if I drink that, like, I don't feel like I need to like take a nap to digest my entire food. I'm gonna heat this up and then I will see you guys in the next part of this video. <laughs> Okay, so in order for me to feel creative, I need to give myself the space to be creative. So if I want to come up with a video idea or I want to edit something, I want to give myself the space to do so, so that I'm not going through different barriers to find a specific song that I want or like a specific clip or something that I want in a video. It's just gonna demotivate me more as I keep going. So I want to give myself no barriers. So that's what I'm doing now, organizing music, doing things. So that is the next step. The main reason why I'm doing this is because I have a lot of trouble sifting through things sometimes because I never sit down to actually organize anything so in this point I am organizing all of my music and making sure that none of it is expired because some of the music that I use actually does expire and sometimes I don't even realize that it did put it in my video and then right before I'm gonna upload it I realize it has expired so I have to cancel my upload go back to my editing software change the music and then download the file again so it's very stressful when this happens it's only happened a couple times but I don't want it to happen anymore. So I'm sitting down and doing this. Another big thing that I need to do is to go to my video descriptions and put in chapters for my videos. So it's easier to sift through things if you're looking for something specific. So knowing that these things are done will actually make me feel a lot more creative to go ahead and make more videos. A big reason why I get unmotivated is because I don't surround myself with the content that I like making. I watch so many different types of YouTube videos that whenever I end up watching the type of niche that I make, it's a very very small percentage of all of the things that I watch and I'm trying to make more of an effort to like implement more of those kinds of videos into the videos that I watch and like try to find new people because I've been watching the same like three people for the past like two years and like expand myself and watch other people's channels and like the way they edit and the way they put their story together. I just wanted to make more of an effort to do that. So that's another big thing that I've been implementing. They really do help. Like I really do get inspired watching like all the people put different graphics and the way they edit and like putting things in an order that's not necessarily like continuous and things like that so that's kind of what's been going on i had to turn on a light because it was very cloudy outside and i have a north facing window so i'm currently editing this video and it's a tuesday mind blown this vlog definitely helped i hope i can stay on this boat where i stay motivated and i just have to be more intentional and specific i need to give myself creative freedom to watch youtube videos to sit down and organize and schedule out my day i feel like that's that's, that's what really needs to go on and I got really comfortable after classes ended to like relax and detox And even though I did do that It was really hard for me to get back into that boat to being more intentional more productive I did that with my office transformation video and now I have to keep going. So this is the video of me continuing on It is currently the next day and yes, I'm wearing the same thing. Another thing I like to do is to go outside and meditate. So I sit out here and I listen to the birds and I just make sure that I'm taking time for my mental health. I just want to make sure that all the energy that I put into my mental health is not only affecting me, but it's also rubbing off on other people. It's the best thing you can do as a person. Be the best person you can be to not only affect yourself, but other people around you. And if I'm going to be creative, I have to sit with my thoughts because then I'll just go insane. This is another big thing that I've been doing. I did a 40 day meditation streak when I did my 30 day yoga challenge and I continued it for 10 days. And I broke the streak like a week ago and I got so sad. I'm trying to meditate multiple times a week if I can every day So I use this app called headspace. You guys have probably heard about it a lot of ads on YouTube about it But I've been using it for like two years already and every time I open the app I don't know if it's because I'm biased, but it's just so cozy when I open the app This is not sponsored anything, but I love the little sleep casts that they have. Ooh the sun and if i'm anxious or i'm having trouble focusing they have like special meditations for that if i need those meditations for anything specific the birds won't shut up i'm gonna start <laughs> feel so calm ready to work today also today's the first day of summer which i'm super excited about it's a beautiful day today it's very fitting to do a meditation out here okay so another big thing to give myself some space is to go out and do things to not get stuck in the house i need to have outside experiences to be creative i can't just stay home all day and work so i'm gonna go get boba with a friend and see people outside of my house even if it's just a stranger walking through the grocery store like i need to go out and see people so here we go <laughs> 
But she was like, oh, look where I am. And so she was like, wait for the old lady to flip the camera. <laughs> You're like in your 50s. She's like, no, but I can't figure this out. I would give this an 8 out of 10. I would give mine 7.5. Very fruity, but it's also very sweet. I'll drink on the first day of summer. I can't let that down. Why do I keep saying that? Hi. It is a couple days later and my cold sore scar is gone. I didn't want to use up time at the beginning of the vlog to say it, but I've had a cold sore in this vlog and it's the most annoying thing in the world and the scar literally didn't fall off until the end of the vlog, so. I was finally getting rid of the hyperpigmentation of my last cold sore and then another cold sore came in the exact same spot. So that's my life currently. This was the goal of the vlog. I feel so much better. I feel so much more creative. Making myself document it like forced me to like really sit down and edit. Today is Saturday so I'll be uploading this video tomorrow and I have 80% of the video edited. Unheard of. Usually today is the day where like I sit down with my coffee and I edit the entire video. Yes like sometimes I do that because I have class the entire week and I'm really busy the entire week so like I'll find little times to film and then Saturday when I I don't have class I will sit down and I will edit the entire video and I have like two months in front of me where I have no excuse I actually have time I actually fulfilled it this week which is great I worked out yesterday and I did the 10 minute mile ah! I feel like I've re-inspired myself so I feel great hopefully this lasts for a while I know it's not gonna feel like this by the, the fifth or the sixth week however hopefully this helps me maintain it for the rest of the summer some sort of schedule some sort of thing to keep me inspired so yeah I just kind of wanted to up update the vlog as a final conclusion to the vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video because that's how you let me know. Subscribe for more videos like these and hit the little bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every single time I post. I post every single Sunday and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.